Hello, Connection and Separation Collective, and welcome back, Pisces. Today, I'll be taking a look at you and your partner together in this reading. I'll take a look at your past, present, and near future. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Taro, and I am a second-degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers my new viewers and visitors alike. Thank you so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. I see our small family is getting larger and that is of course because of you and your support. I thank you. Continue to like, share, and subscribe. And let's take a look here, Pisces, at you and your partner's past or for some of you, this is this may be your recent past. But again, it's together as a couple. Okay, so let's take a look here at you and your specific, uh, your significant other's uh, energy here in the past or recent past in this connection and separation or long distance relationship. So we have hope, and we also have here healing. All right, so there may have been here. Uh, a friendship for sure for some of you, okay? There was this, there's this feeling here of friendship, of loyalty, dedication, uh, of trust, okay? Um, I feel here that there was this feeling of just being hopeful, desiring, wishing, hoping that things work out, that you and your uh, partner, that your partner and you uh, create this or have this union, okay, is what I'm feeling here, or deepening here of uh, of of a friendship into something more significant into something more of a suspended commitment okay so i feel here in the past or recent past that that may have been the issue or i'm sorry the the feeling not an issue just the the issue may have been here though um missing each other okay you're you're missing your partner your partner is missing you and that may have caused here some type of emotional um feeling of loss okay feeling hurt missing someone, yearning them, wanting to be close, hoping and wishing, when can we see each other? When can we be in, in each other's arms again? Okay. And for some of you, um, this may have been a person that you may have known already because of that friendship card. So either both of you were friends in the past or recent past, or maybe you have, you met through uh, friends. Okay. So here in the past or recent past, let's take a look here at more energy. What else? More details. Um, here in the past or recent past for Pisces and their uh, partner here in this connection and separation reading. Energy feels adjustment, aura cleansing, and health. Yes, there was this feeling here that there was a healing that needed to occur. Okay, some of you, it was just emotional healing from feeling a sense of loss, of pain of feeling uh, like you're missing your partner, your partner's also missing you. And, uh, you know, it's just that, 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 that I miss you energy. For others of you here, I feel that you may have come from a relationship, a prior relationship. Now, whether that be you, Pisces, or your significant other may have come from a prior relationship where they were deeply wounded, okay, where there were emotional wounds here. And they were hoping, wishing, and longing for someone that can, uh, you know, they can call their own, someone they could feel like that can mend things back together, you know, give them a sense of hope in regards to love, okay? And for some of you, then that's the reason or that's one of the factors here of how you guys met, okay? Coming from prior relationships where there was a lot of pain, okay? And here you have energy adjustment, okay? So there was a need here to heal. And I feel here for some of you that this uh, relationship was a healing force or a healing um, energy, for the both of you, especially if you can resonate with that uh, prior relationship and heartache uh, channeled message that I'm getting here for some of you. Um, it's like you guys really wanted, hoped, wished, dreamed uh, of a partner, of someone that you can trust and you can commit, you know, in that way. All right, let's see here in the past or recent past 
yeah, seven of uh, wands here. There was this feeling of either um, for, for some of you, the past or the recent past, your prior relationship, you may have felt a little bit kind of cornered where there were maybe a lot of things, maybe your p past partner or, or whether it's you Pisces or whether it's your, uh, your significant other here may have felt like, um, like they were being attacked. You know, they were, they were, they, it wasn't a good feeling here. Okay. And perhaps that that is what may have, um, cause a sense of heartache here. And when I mean attacked, I mean verbally, um, you know, you're not good enough. You're not this enough. You know, you're this, you're that, you know, that type of, um, uh, coming from the outside is what I'm feeling. I feel that like this was coming from another person, you know, that kind of, you know, <clears throat> bashing, uh, someone's morale, you know what I mean? And so that bashing of morale in the past or recent past here, I feel was on either your mind, Pisces, from a prior relationship or your significant other's prior relationship that was on their mind, okay? For some of you here, this is just feeling overwhelmed, um, not being able to feel like you can freely go see your partner and your partner could freely see you. It's like being um, uh, placed in a corner, okay? Because the separation was something that wasn't chosen. It was, it just happened, right? And so for some of you, that is something that may have been, again, a lot on your mind or your partner's mind. So here you guys have the eight of wands. Now, very interesting. This is releasing. Now, very interesting energy here. Very much the opposite, okay? One, the, uh, the you know, the energy is coming towards the other one. The, the energy is going outward. Um, so here the wands with the eight of wands being able to surpass or overcome any challenges. Okay. Here with the eight of wands, eight of wands is also a lot about communication. So here, whether it was you Pisces or your significant other communication through distance. Okay. So long distance communication, long distance relationship here with the eight of wands. I'm also feeling here a surge of energy. So things changing. Okay. Switching over again, the energy of the seven of wands is that energy coming towards, um, a person and they're kind of, kind of feeling, especially here, you really feel it here with the energy here on this card. But whereas the eight of wands is more of a releasing, letting things go and moving with that momentum. All right, so let's take a look here at the per present uh, time, present current energy, Pisces and their significant other. Let's take a look what's happening right now at this moment in time. All right, so you guys have fear and you have maturity. This tells me that there may have been here a time or there is a time happening right now at this current moment in time where you have realized that there is a need to let go of the fear, of the uncertainty, okay, of uh, kind of thinking or feeling, oh, this might not work out or, you know what, I'm just so upset that, you know, this time apart is taking such a long time. And instead of looking at it from a point of fear and a point of not being able to change certain things, I feel here a lot of you have grown emotionally due to this distance between you and your partner. Now, whether that has been because of work-related uh, situations or just because of the just the mere fact that both of you are in separate physical locations. I feel here there's a lot of thinking about the memories that you have shared with your partner and your partner has shared with you. And that in a way, it's what's making this feel either a little bit better, better. either looking at their pictures, reading their past texts, their past emails, but that is in a way soothing this um, this period right now at this present moment in time. Let's take a look here at the next deck here. What else is going on presently for, oh, I'm sorry, I was going to say Aquarius, but for Pisces and their significant other while wow, you guys have falling in love. So there's definitely the sense here of, um, feeling like you and your other half, um, even though you are physically disconnected, right? Because of distance, you are energet energetically connected as one. And that may be here, the maturity, looking at this situation or looking at this separation that was forced upon you, Pisces, and upon your partner, looking at it 
in a different way. And this is how you guys are remaining connected. You are being, you're connected through the energy that you guys share. Okay. Thinking about each other, looking at old pictures, reading old texts, uh, reading emails, like that type of connection. Okay. For some of you, it's just literally calling each other as often as you can. Right. But there are other situations that that might not be the case, right? Um, but just to let you know here, you guys, uh, with your partner here have telepathy. Like I said, there's this energetic union that is currently happening at this moment in time. For some of you, there's even mind reading. That means that you are thinking about your partner and guess what? All of a sudden they call or they text or you're thinking about them and all of a sudden you look in your, e your email and boom, there's an email from them. Um, so there's this energetic union. Now let's take a look here at this present energy a little bit more in depth. You guys have here the star card that's healing. That's also hoping, wishing, and wanting certain things to happen in a way, connecting with the creator, connecting with uh, the ethereal into manifesting or wishing, hoping, and desiring for something to happen here. Okay. So for some of you, it's he that healing process, that healing of the fear and this emotional maturity that's coming your way at this moment in time. For others of you here, you have the two of swords, a little bit of a conflict here at times when your mind goes back to the hurt of the past or the inability to see your partner. Okay. Or, uh, the freedom or the, the liberation of just, you know, physically getting in a car or walking to their apartment, you know, like that's not present in, uh, long distance connections. And so that is the reason why there are unique challenges and obstacles here with this collective. And I know because I've been there. Um, so this is why I do a reading for uh, exclusively for the connection and separation. So right now there may be just things that are in a way uh, going through either your mind or your partner's mind or both your minds together. Okay. So there is just this, um, in a way, opposition of thoughts. Okay. Some of you may be compromising here with the two of swords here. You might have conflicting ideas. You may have opposing ideas, but in, 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 in some way, shape or form, you're healing that here with the star card. You're healing it through a sense of compromise. Okay. So let's take a look here at your final section. Hang on Pisces. I know this was a little longer than what I expected, but um, let's take a look here in your future. What's going on here with Pisces near future and their partner in this long distance connection. So there may be a trigger, uh, in this upcoming energy. This trigger may be coming from someone from the outside, someone saying something, uh, maybe external people. Okay. Not you or your partner, just hearing something from the outside for others of you. It may be that your partner may say something to you that you don't like, or you may say something to your partner that they don't like, whatever this may be. It may be causing here a little bit of differences of opinion, uh, a little bit of feeling rejected, a feeling, a feeling of, you know, two people just not really finding a common ground. Now, again, Take a look at this. You guys have here the two of swords. Remember that I was talking about conflicting ideas, opposing ideas. Okay. Now for some of you, yeah, you guys are healing that through compromise here. But what I'm, what I'm being called or guided to tell you here is that I feel that this two of swords, whatever it is that there may be this conflict about, and it's about ideas because swords is about the mind. So there may be conflicting views, perspectives, okay, or communication, meaning miscommunication here, arguments, okay, two people arguing here with the two of swords. Now, I know that in some decks that that not, might not be the case, but I do read intuitively, and especially with this card with two people here at, at the state of, uh, you know, just opposition. That is what my guys uh, are telling me at this moment in time. And I feel here that whatever that may be, whatever this argument or differences may be, it may come back in the near future. So if it's not fully or completely healed, um, it may just come right back. Okay. Now the interesting here part is that you guys have a true commitment here. 
there may be here after this uh, hiccup here, a feeling of wanting to strengthen the commitment, strengthen uh, your bond. Okay. So it's, it's one of those things that if you really put in the work and you learn to listen to each other and work through those issues, then, uh, the commitment will still remain. Right. So as they say, right, only the strong survive. So, uh, like I said before, uh, di long distance relationships or connections and separation do have their own unique challenges, but it's also, uh, those that can withstand those obstacles and challenges are truly the, uh, the strong, the strong couples, right? So again, that's something to take a look at also here from that perspective. Let's take a look here at another deck here, more information. All right. Sacrifice. Yeah. Some of you may have to sacrifice, um, certain things. Okay. Meaning, compromise. Sometimes it's not 50, 50. Sometimes one person has to lose in order to gain. Um, and, and, and that it, that's normal in a relationship. Now what it, what's not okay is when it happens always on a one way thing. It's always with the same person giving in, giving in, giving in. Now that may be a little bit unhealthy, but here in this case, um, there are those worth making and there are those that will destroy you. So in other words, this is talking about being able to pick and choose which battles to fight and which ones to compromise on. Okay. That may take a little bit of, uh, in the near future time for yourselves and rethink and reflect. In other words, don't say the first, th the first thing that comes to your mind in the middle of a heated argument. If you guys are really upset at each other, take time to step back, recalculate, recalibrate, and then go towards talking about it again. Great thing here for you, Pisces, and your partner is that you guys have the four of wands. Now, like I said before, the strong will survive. Four of wands, marriage card, okay? Long lasting, or I should say long term commitment here. Okay. The foundations are here. You need four wooden legs to hold up a table. And that's exactly what's happening here in the near future. All these bumps and, you know, disagreements or ups and downs will lead to a better, more fulfilling, stronger commitment for you and your uh, significant other. But only if you're able to compromise and know when to compromise and when to just let go of things and keep moving forward. Again, reflection is going to be needed here with sanctuary. Pisces, I hope that this message or these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexus Tarot logo to be part of the Lexus Tarot family. Look down here for more messages. Take care and I'll see you again next time.